And so as biologists, one of the tools that we use to understand the relationship between living things is something called gene trees. And so this is a model that we can understand how things are related by using different lines of evidence. And so as a geneticist, we use a lot of DNA sequence data. And so this, this tree that you're looking at here is a relationship between primates. So you have the greater apes, humans, and chimpanzees. You have the lower primates and monkeys. And what you can do is you can compare the DNA between those organisms, and you can, you can build this model to try to understand how things are related based on how shared that DNA is to one another. And so in the case of humans and chimpanzees, you know, humans didn't evolve from chimpanzees, but we share a common ancestor. And this is important when we're trying to infer these relationships. And so with humans and other primates, the nice thing is we can go and we can obtain fossil evidence, or we can look at skeletons or skulls, and that information can inf also inform our gene trees. In the case of bacteria, we're just limited to the DNA sequence data. So this is a tree looking at plague. And so each one of these little tips, a circle, a triangle, a, a star, represents a plague isolate from a different location across the world. So at the root of the tree, just like the relationship between humans and chimpanzees, we see a common ancestor. And that's the common ancestor between plague and really the closest relative to, we, to what plague has. And so um, the way to interpret this tree is as we go up the tree, we can think about it as time increases. So we're getting further and further away from that branch with a common ancestor. And as it develops these different branches is where plague is, you know, located to a certain area and then established there. So I circled a, a figure of China. So that clay with the little green circles might indicate a group of, clay, of plague that has colonized China and is kind of localized there. So if you wanted to go sampling for it, you could go to a certain location in China and find that exact lineage of plague. And so this kind of, over time, you can see there's kind of sporadic establishment of plague in different locations. But then when you get to this location on the tree, we see something very different. And so we call this the Big Bang Polytomy. And this is where a plague really went worldwide. And so the reason why we think this is is because humans started going worldwide. People got on steamships. They traveled to North America. Well, within those steamships, we had rats. And rats had fleas. And so you think as you, you know, land in the new world, the rats get off, the fleas get off, and all of a sudden you have a new location that can establish. And so this is really where plague established across the world, including Arizona. So if we look at this, uh, where Arizona plague lies, it's right here on the tree. 